Athanasian Creed, Episode 13 Spiritus Sanctus, Apatra et Filio, Non Factus, Nec Creatus, Nec Genitus, Sed Procedens. Unus Ergo Pater, Non Tres Patres, Unus Filius, Non Tres Filii, Unus Spiritus Sanctus, Non Tres Spiritus Sancti. Now for the third person of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is from the Father and the Son. Spiritus Sanctus, masculine, singular, and nominative. Patre and Filio, both masculine, singular, and ablative, of origin. The Holy Spirit, not made, non factus, nec creatus, nor created, nec genitus, nor begotten, but proceeding, procadens. Procadens is a present active participle in the masculine, singular, nominative. It modifies spiritus, and it is a participle from the third conjugation verb, procatere, to go forward. Therefore, ergo, unus pater, there is one father, non tres patres, non tres patres sunt, instead unus ergo pater est. There is one father, there are not three fathers. Unus filius, there is one son, non tres filii, there are not three sons. Again, est with unus filius, and sunt with non tres filii. There is one Holy Spirit, unus spiritus sanctus est, non tres spiritus sancti. There are not three Holy Spirits. Each one of these is masculine and nominative, unus pater, tres patres, unus filius, tres filii, unus spiritus sanctus, tres spiritus sancti. Unus pater is singular, as unus filius and unus spiritus sanctus, Tres patres, tres filii, and tres spiritus sancti are all plural. The esse that I have supplied here is being used in a way that grammarians sometimes called existentially. It is existential est. That means stating that something exists. This is in distinction from the copulative use of esse, which means to say that X is Y, that A is B, that one thing is another thing. This is the existential use, the statement of something's existence.